Today I will try to speak about some albums of my collection. Uh, some albums of that they are not so famous, let's say, but I think that people that they are that they are inside metal, maybe they know them. And uh, maybe this is the first album, the first video about uh, my collection. Let's see some albums. But first of all, I have to speak about a great uh, band from Greece that they play atmospheric black metal by the name Drama Noir. They are from uh, from Greece, from the town Corinthos, and uh, their first album was in uh, uh, 2018 by the name Princess Iram, a great album. They have uh, uh, great songs as Princess Iram, The Enemies of the Moon, The Fighting Warrior, and maybe they are now in this in this time they try they try to uh, to make a new album so if you like atmospheric black metal i suggest drama noir okay let's start first of all here we have a british heavy metal band of new wave of british heavy metal millennium this is if if i'm not sure this is the first album of them by the name millennium and uh, today uh, they they have another also album, a new album before some years, but is a, a very nice album. Secondly, another band, if I'm not sure from the United States, Pale Divine, a great great uh, album. In this album, by the name Thunder Perfect Mind. They play uh, something between stoner doom metal with uh, psychedelic influences. A great, great album. And now, another perfect band from Italy that they plays thrust metal, and not only thrust metal, thrust metal with influences from Slayer, and not only from Slayer but especially from the first album of Slayer, So No Mercy. And I'm speaking about the band Insane and the, and the album Wait and Pray. Great album. If you, if, if you listen to the songs, you think that the songs, they are some forgotten songs of the seasons of So No Mercy. Everything here is like So No Mercy, the cover, uh, of the of the CD, the photos of the band with the eyeliners, and of course the songs, also the titles, for example, uh, "Dying Hell," "Metal Torment," "Evil Is at Hand," "Death by Command," and etc. Great, great album. Now. Another special band that they played something between uh, funeral suicidal doom metal with uh, also some uh, horror influences and electronic uh, music influences. I'm speak about Ada, the band Ada, if I'm not sure this is their name. And uh, this album by the name Worth, Worth of the Ropes great suicidal funeral doom metal another band from united states that they played something between u.s power metal or heavy metal and their first album was in 2004 overlord and their album return of the snow giant giant great album great 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 album I don't know what uh, if they continue today. And now let's go to Germany, and here I will bring my Hemic Truth. My Hemic Truth they play epic black metal, of course with influences by Bathory, and here we have uh, a combination of them in memoriam. Today uh, they not exist, unfortunately. I'm continuing with a band from Germany, 
thrust, tectonic thrust metal band with only one album, if I'm not sure, but a great album, Violent, Violent Force, and their album, Malevolent Assault of Tomorrow. And now I'm coming back to the United States, a great, let's say, funeral doomed death metal, Bisma. Yes, I know uh, one member of the band is a neo-Nazi, if I'm not sure, but the band is uh, uh, totally outside of politics. And their first album, Towards the Megalith. Great, let's say, great doomed, funeral doomed death metal. With a great also cover up. Now, another band, maybe they are from the United States, Inquisitor, and their album, Sabbath of Lust. This is something very extreme thrust metal. Maybe some people will, will listen here some influences of death metal or of bestial black metal, but especially they are extreme thrust. Now another US power metal band, but very grow, with uh, the singer uh, Goglin, the tyrant of Cheng Painter and of uh, Titan Force. I'm speaking about their first album, Satan's Host, and the album uh, Metal from Hell. Also afterwards, uh, we have another EP of the band with Konglin as a singer. Midnight Wind. They continue until today, but with, with, with uh, other, another singer. Now, a band from Canada that they played uh, speed power metal with uh, a woman with female singer as a singer, and uh, uh, they were, let's say, white metal, yeah with uh, Christian um, uh, themes I'm speaking about Messiah Force and their first and only album The Last Day. Great, great album and great, great band. Now, another funeral doom band, but with black influences, black metal influences, from Holland, Abysmal Darkening, and their album No Light Behind, a very great album that compares black metal and funeral doom. Uh, also, they, they were a band, uh, they have uh, until now maybe something like four albums, a band of, of four members, two women and two men. And now, another also very special band from the United States. You know, before some years, I thought that there is only one band from the United States by the name Coven. The old cold, old cold rock, blues old cold rock band Coven, that many people, they think that they, they influenced Black Sabbath, let's say. In any case, in these years, in the United States, there was another also band by the name Coven, but they played epic doom metal, something very close to Sirith Kirith Ankol. And I'm speaking about this Coven band that afterwards also, uh, because of the occult rockers Coven, they changed their name to Coven 13. So here I have the, their first album, Worship New Gods. Someone that likes very much epic uh, Doom and Sirith or Kirith Ankle, he has to find them. Another also epic metal band from Italy, but epic progressive metal band, Adramelch, and their album, their first album, Irae Melanox. Also, 
very special band. And now I'm going I'm going to Austria, and here I have a band that in their first album they have they had only two albums. In their first album they played epic atmospheric black metal, very close to Samoning, also from Austria. And maybe in with a very also close to Falkenbach from Germany. And I'm speaking about Raven Throne by one name. Yeah, in the title, Raven Throne. Also, Pazuzu, he was uh, in contact, uh, he was inside the band, if I'm not sure. Their first album, Malice in Water in, in uh, a Wonderland, great atmospheric epic black metal. But in their second album, and the last album, they played something between avant-garde metal with some uh, black influences. And here, this is the, their second last album, Endless Conflict Theorem. Now, another great band that they had only one album, if I'm not sure, from Greece. And they played atmospheric uh, female fronted metal, Odes of Ecstasy, and their album Embossed Dreams in Four Acts. Also, the cover of the, uh, of the album is very close to the album Once of Nightwish, but if I'm not sure, uh, they, they were a little bit even before than Once of Nightwish. And now, a bestial war metal, uh, raw black metal band from Slovenia, if I'm not sure, Provocator. And uh, until now, they have two albums. And this is the f that's their second album, great album, by the name Satan, Chaos, Blood and Terror. Now, another band that they play something between progressive black metal or avant-garde black metal from Mexico. And their name is Lacrimae. And here we have their album White Pest. Also, they have something, something between three and four albums. Very special band from Mexico of progressive avant-garde black metal. Now, another band that they were very great in the beginning, many people, they thought that they are uh, the new wave of uh, Euro, power, Euro power metal. But unfortunately, after two albums, they disappeared. I'm speaking about Lost Horizon. First of all, their first album, Awaking the World. And afterwards, their second album, their last album, a flame to the ground beneath. Now I'm continue with uh, a band from Norway, but they that they played funeral doom metal with uh, female uh, vocals, female growl vocals. I'm speaking about the band Thor's Hammer. The album is by the name Domden, Domdensknot, something uh, like that. Two other also albums from now, another band from Greece that they played heavy speed metal, Blundstained, and their first and last album, Greetings from Hell. A great great album and last but not least until now a band of power metal from Brazil they're not playing a power metal as Ankara no no they have their style maybe more straight uh, power metal power heavy metal and speak about Dark Avenger and their first album also, uh, they had another album uh, by the name Avalon, but this album is 
very straight heavy power metal. So, until now, from Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.